Hello everyone, this is Frank DeMora, the author of the book, The Last Chronicles of Planet Earth. It's a documentary on Bible prophecy and current events. And if you'd like to get a hold of my book today for free, you'd be able to download it today for free at the website that you see below. I've been warning you almost on a daily basis now to keep your eyes on the news because you are going to see prophecy being fulfilled. And part of that prophecy that I'm referring to of the many signs that Jesus Christ gave to us and our Lord in the Old Testament has to do with the birds, the fish, and the animals dying. Now in my last video that I made, I left off on August the 8th of 2015. And now I'm going to bring you to August the 18th of 2015. And of course on August the 8th there was another article that came out and I'm going to cover that as well. So let's go in, first of all, for those of you who may not know about Bible prophecy concerning the warning about the birds, the fish, and the animals dying. Here's one of the verses that you could read that shows us what will happen in the future. And this one comes from Hosea chapter 4, verse 3. Therefore shall the land mourn, and every one that dwelleth therein shall languish, with the beast of the field, and with the fowls of heaven, Yea, the fishes of the sea also shall be taken away. So we know that in the last days, while all the rest of the prophecies are being fulfilled in the same generation, that the birds, the fowls, and the fish are going to start disappearing until they're all taken away. And we are seeing the evidence of that right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to play this video for you. You'll see some drop downs, I may say, something of importance but I'm just gonna play it so that you can see what's happened over the course since August the 8th of 2015 we start off with 30 blue herons found dead in Alberta energy regular is investigating and you're going to see one of the themes that you're going to be seeing in a lot of these reports as it has been in the past that it's a mystery they're trying to figure out what is killing these the birds the fish and the animals and as you can see here in Canada on August the 8th once again it's a mystery of why these blue herons suddenly died off Our top story this evening, investigators are trying to figure out what caused several thousand fish to die near a popular park in the Lama. Uh, Lebanon Live was alerted to the problem when viewers found a dead fish along the Yahula Creek, and they wanted to know if the water is safe. How Rebecca lunched them. She wanted to find out. It's not what anyone expected to find at Yahula Creek Park, a place known for its battling water and shady trees. There's people here all the time. Some people wade in the creek. So when dead fish started coming ashore, the county takes notice. They saw some bass, and they saw some suckers. One 11 Alive viewer sent us this picture. The next day, a fisherman wrote us after he saw hundreds and hundreds of dead fish floating down the river. Turns out it wasn't one or hundreds. We've got several thousand fish at this point. The actual final number hasn't, hasn't come out yet. So far, only fish appear affected, and there's no obvious cause. Whatever was here is gone. Yes. The fish started dying around this corner. It's near where the city discharges water from its sewage treatment plant. But investigators say there is nothing to indicate right now they did anything wrong. I uh, know EPD is checking, uh, testing the water for any possible uh, bad discharge or anything there. They're also checking the fish for traces of herbicides sprayed on vegetation a few weeks ago to protect the power lines that run through the park.
we write Washington has time, he goes to the Mississippi River to do some fishing. Today I was just enjoying the, the beautiful day and the, the wondrous serenity of the river. But Washington says he's noticed dozens of dead birds on the riverbank recently. Clearly there's a problem, but what's the cause? It is right now being looked at as the most possible scenario. While still unconfirmed, the wildlife manager Rick Tebbs with the Lee County Conservation Board says avian botulism is the likely culprit. The disease attacks a bird's ability to fly, walk, hold its head up, and even limits muscle movement, causing the birds to drown or starve to death. A botulism is a natural occurring bacteria that is found in the soil and the water, and at this time of year when we have warmer water temperatures, uh, the bacteria is allowed to survive. The disease is most often found in water and soil and survives by attaching itself onto dead fish in the form of larvae. Tabs urges fishermen to properly dispose of their catch, otherwise birds can eat those fish and become infected. He also asks anyone who notices dead birds to quickly contact your local DNR or health department so the birds can be tested to find out the exact cause of death. Washington hopes fishermen dispose of their catch not only for the bird's safety, but the river as well. Then What's killing BC's humpback whales? An investigation has been launched after four dead humpbacks washed up on our coastline over the past week. CTV Shannon Patterson has the story. Holy Once on the edge of extinction, humpback whales are now thriving on the west coast. We've been seeing a resurgence of humpbacks. They're calling it the humpback comeback in BC. That's why this is so disturbing. A dead humpback whale, one of four that washed up on the central coast in just the past week. There could have been others that we haven't seen. Uh, and up in southeast Alaska, there's been 21 dead fin whale and humpback whales in the past month. So this seems like a really alarming number, all coming in at once. This whale's tail showed signs of a past entanglement. But biologists say something else may have killed her and the others. If there's something in the water, kind of some toxic, a bacteria or a virus could spread through the population and so they've taken lots of samples from this humpback whale in Clem 2. Again they did a full necropsy and another humpback whale up in Haida Gwaii last week. The results expected in the coming weeks should help unravel the mystery.
concludes this video and I want to warn you once again that you're going to see more of the same type of articles the birds the fish and the animals dying and the reason why you are going to see news like this is because we are at the end days there's without a question now if anybody says that we've seen reports about this before I would definitely agree with you and that by itself wouldn't mean much but this is the first time in the history of man that every prophecy that the Lord referred to that would happen in one single generation is taking place in our generation now are there are a few prophecies that haven't been completely fulfilled yet and I discuss that in my book as well well, let me give you an example of one of the prophecies that I was discussing that hasn't been fulfilled yet. Actually, I'm showing you a photo of two of the prophecies. There's going to be war against Israel. We know that for sure. Psalm 83 gives us all of the nations who are going to join together as a confederacy against Israel at a time when they're calling for peace and safety, as you see on the left-hand side. On the right hand side you'll see Ezekiel chapter 38 and the Lord gives us very specific names of the countries that are going to make another attempt to try to take Israel out and one of the major allies of this Islamic army that will be coming will be as you can see here under the second name Iran or Persia of the Old Testament. Now, if you've been watching the news, you have been noticing how this alliance is coming together. That's if you understand Bible prophecy. If you're watching the news and you don't know anything about Bible prophecy, you're not going to know anything about Ezekiel chapter 38, and there's no way that you'd be able to make the connection to what's happening currently in the news. Now, in the Blaze News today, August the 18th, there was an article, Israel Must Be Obliterated. New Iran video images Muslim invasion of Jerusalem. And what you're reading here in this headline is essentially what God has already shown us for the future. It says, a new video out of Iran presents the imagined scenario of Jerusalem being conquered by a military alliance of the country's Revolutionary Guard forces and Hezbollah and Hamas terrorists, the Jewish news site reported Tuesday. Quoting the Middle East Terrorism Research Organization, the investigation project, the, the Al Jamir reported that the video was released two weeks after the Iranian nuclear deal was announced. And of course, anybody who's been to my website for the past five years would understand what this means because I've been warning for the past five years that the United States wasn't going to do anything to stop the Iranians from getting their hands on a nuclear weapon and that's my friends what has happened. Iran has now free hands to maneuver in the direction that they want and that direction is number one to get a hold of a bomb and number two use it against the nation of Israel. Now in this article there's also a video that was exposed showing that this alliance, this Islamic alliance backed by Iran wants to go to Jerusalem. I'm going to play this video for you. It's only about a minute and a half long. Now, if you're new to prophecy or if you're new to geographic area of Israel, what they're looking at, this army is looking at, this is the Dome of the Rock. This is the third most holy site for the Muslims. And marching to the Dome of the Rock to recapture this area because in 1967 the Jews conquered the invading armies and they took over Jerusalem and this site right here. 
And now, even though that this area is still being occupied and run by the Muslims because the Jews have allowed that to take place, the Muslims want to retake this and destroy the nation of Israel. And as I already pointed out, this is exactly what Jesus shows us in the Word in Ezekiel chapter 38. There you have it, marching to Jerusalem to conquer Israel, to recapture the Dome of the Rock. My friends, what you're seeing is an all-out warning by our Lord, given to us through the Holy Spirit. And now in this generation, the generation who has the technology to be able to see world events around the world, all at the same time, this has never happened in anybody's generation except for ours and again if you read Daniel chapter 12 you would see that that's one of the prophecies that in the last days knowledge would increase and obviously it has exponentially only in this generation now if you notice also in this article this is the leader of Iran and it says we support the resistance in Palestine and the region and the Palestinians are mentioned in the Psalm 83 war. So you have the very people, identical people, that are in this report that are also shown to us by the word of our Lord and our God in the Old Testament. So you have an opportunity today to believe it or to reject it. If you reject it, you reject the word of the Lord and his warning. And that's not a good position to be in at all. Well, the report that came out today in the 18 also had a very interesting uh, piece in this article. But before I get to that piece, I want to show you what God said in the Psalm 83 war. You'll see the connection here. It says this, starting in verse 1, Keep not thou silence, O God, hold not thy peace, and be not still, O God, for lo, thy enemies make a tumult, and they that hate thee have lifted the head. They have taken crafty counsel against thy people, and of course he's talking about Israel, and consulted against thy hidden ones. They have said, now this is really important, verse 4, they have said, come and let us cut them off from being a nation. Now get this, that the name of Israel may be no more in remembrance in other words erase them from the history so that Israel is not around and nobody remembers their name anymore now let's go to the article I want to point out what was said in that article now you just saw the video from this article I'm gonna read what it says later in the video a wider shot is presented showing dozens of fighters on a hilltop across from the holy city and the holy city that they're talking about is East Jerusalem, which I already showed you, was conquered in 1967. It says, at the end, the Persian script appears saying, Israel must be obliterated or, get this, erased from the annals of history. And the youth will definitely see that day when it comes, the al Jonir noted. So, again, identical to prophecy. Now, that prophecy was stated from the Psalm 83 war, but we do know that this war is being financed by Iran. And so Iran wants to see Israel wiped out in the Psalm 83 war, and it won't happen. And as it doesn't take place, we know that the Iranians will be so upset, they will join with those forces that I showed you that were mentioned in the Ezekiel war, they will then make another attempt to take out Israel to wipe out their name just as God showed us in Psalm 83. So again, it's identical to what God has warned us. And it isn't a coincidence that you're seeing in the news because our loving God has been showing us signs like this over and over again. But you need 
to know what the Bible says to be able to connect the dots. And this is why the Lord has put me here to help you see the connection. And again, if you want to read that book, just go over to my website and you'd be able to download the book and you'd be able to see all of the prophecies that were supposed to happen in one single generation, which makes it very distinctive from any other generation. We are the chosen generation that will see the return of Jesus Christ. He tells us in Matthew chapter 24 that this generation shall not pass until all these things be fulfilled. Now, if you don't know Jesus as your Lord and your Savior, you better get to know him soon. He loves you. He's been calling you. And if you think it was a mistake that you came to this website to see this information, you would be mistaken. The Lord loves you, and he's showing you his signs to prove that he is the true and only, the true one Messiah that can save you from what is coming. Now, Satan doesn't want you to believe anything that you've been seeing, that you've been seeing today. But the Lord loves you, and he's given you all of the information that you need at your disposal. First of all, through the complete Bible. And second of all, you would have my book, The Last Chronicles of Planet Earth, to help as a guide to show you the events that are taking place in the last days. This is Frank DeMora from the End Times Research Ministry. Tell your friends about the website and tell them it's a free website. I'll never ask you for anything. No money, nothing. I just want to be able to preach the Lord Jesus Christ and to warn the people before the Lord comes back and begins the judgment on an unrighteous world.